welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. So nowadays I'm exploring all the features of the new Microsoft Flight Simulator and my major focus is on the flight planning because for beginners flight planning can be challenging. I have uh, some videos on my channel in which I've explained the flight planning part. Now this video is also related to flight planning but in this uh, video I will tell you how to uh, make your flight plan using the GPS coordinates. If you are flying the Phoenix Simulations Airbus A320, you can also enter uh, the GPS coordinates in decimals. So um, this gives you a good control over your flight planning. You can fly to any point that you want if you have the GPS coordinates. So I will just explain it to you how to enter the decimal GPS coordinates over here in the electronic flight plan. The Microsoft Flight Simulator gives you a variety of flight planning. Uh, for beginners and for the experts, beginners can use the built-in electronic flight bag which can be used for many planes in the simulator and if you're an expert level then you can use SimBrief or SkyVector uh, for different flight planning. Today I will be exploring Dubai so I will just only add two points of interest and then I will make the flight plan. So I will be departing from Dubai, runway 30 right or maybe I can select runway 30 left. And then again, I will be landing back in Dubai, runway, let's say 12 right. And let's do it like this. Now, um, I have to add points. So I can select a facility, I can select an airway, I can select a heading and a distance, and then I can select coordinates. So if you click coordinates over here, you can enter the GPS coordinates in decimals, not in degrees, minutes and seconds, but rather in decimals. Now I'm going to tell you how to basically get those GPS coordinates from the Google Maps and then you can paste them over here. Uh, now I just want to bring your attention to one thing as you can see with the latitude it's asking you to enter either north or south and longitude west or east. If your decimal number for latitude is in positive it means north and if it's negative it means south. Similarly. Uh, for your longitude, if the number is positive, it means east, and if it's negative, it means west. Just to make things clear for you, um, in the Google Maps, uh, you can see this equator line. If I click over here, let's say I'm on the eastern side of the world. If I click over here, this number is coming as negative. This is actually your latitude. It means you're in the south. And if I just click here, this becomes positive because I'm in the north. And uh, there is a line imaginary line just draw it over here somewhere in the middle I think right here you can see the longitude is also positive it means you're in the west east side and I think now even it's positive and uh, let me just do it over here you can see now it's negative because I'm on the west side so that's how you read it this uh, this number will uh, will keep on decreasing and becomes positive and then now you're in the east side so uh, that's how you read the east and west and north and south if you have your numbers in decimal. So it's really easy to pick it up. Uh, let's say I'm uh, doing a flight in Dubai. So I can just click anywhere and I can get the decimal coordinates. If I click this, it will be copied. What I can also do is this, that if I click over here, I'll get this pen and if I click this, I'll get the GPS coordinates in degrees, minutes and seconds also, which will tell me my latitude is north and longitude is east. So obviously if I'm flying in Dubai, anywhere over here in this part of the world, it will always be north and east because, you know, as I've explained it to you before. So in order to make things simple for you, I will also show you a table on the screen, which will tell you uh, that if your latitude is positive, you are in north. If it's negative, you are in the south. And if your longitude is um, positive, you are in the east. If it's negative, you are in the west. It's really simple. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to basically uh, use the Google Maps to get the coordinates and then map them over there in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I will be using this runway, 30 lift, for the takeoff. And let's say I want to fly uh, near uh, Burj Khalifa, over here, let's say, over the Sheikh Zayed Road. 
So I'll click this and I'll copy the coordinates. Now I will go in Excel and paste them over there. So let's paste it over here. I've also um, given this table over here for your reference. If you get confused, you can always use it as a reference. Both numbers are positive. It means north and east. It's really simple. Now let's pick up another point. Now if I want to go to, let's say, Atlantis. Fly over Atlantis and come back. I can also right click Atlantis and get these coordinates. Copy them. And I can paste them over here. Now, uh, simply select this column E because, you know, these both of these coordinates um, for the latitude and for the longitude are in one column. We can just convert them into uh, two columns. Just select data and uh, do this text to columns. Select the first option. Go next. Select comma because they are separated by a comma, as you can see, the latitude and the longitude. Press next and finish. Now you have the latitude and you have the longitude. Oops. I can adjust the columns and that's it. Now I can insert these latitudes and longitudes over there in the electronic flight bag and my flight plan will be ready. So let's copy this and paste it over here. Now, this box only takes six decimal places. These are now eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see, as soon as I left click anywhere after pasting, I'm using control V for the paste. It doesn't take it. But if I delete the last two, then there are six decimal places and it takes it. And it's north, so it's already selected. For the longitude, copy this and I can paste it over here. Delete the last two. Select East and press Add. Now, th this is there. Another waypoint, select Coordinates, get the latitude, delete the last two numbers, and that's it. And uh, for the longitude, just paste it over here. Delete the last two, select East and Add. Now, if I go and look at the flight plan, so my flight plan is there. So what will happen is this, I will just take off from here, runway 30 left, I'll just take off. Then as I don't have a departure procedure, so I will go directly towards this point. I will fly near Burj Khalifa and then I will go to Atlantis and then I will go here and then I will go for the approach and then the landing. So this flight plan is now here. So with the help of the GPS coordinates, you can make these flight plans. I hope um, I've been able to explain it to you. But still, if you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.